What's up, Laker fans? Christian Coloco has been cleared by the NBA to play. And in today's film session, I'm going to zoom in on the aspect of his game that I think helps the Lakers the most, which is his pick and roll defense. Here we have the De'Aaron Fox Rashawn Holmes pick and roll, which is one of the best in the league a couple years ago. And you see they're going to be setting it up near half court. And the reason that they do that is the idea of the pick and roll of those two is speed, right? And so if you got De'Aaron Fox on one end of the pick and roll, Rashawn Holmes on the other, both guys are faster than your normal one and five. And so they really want to attack with speed. And so the idea is if we set the screen near half court, we're going to stretch you out your defense out and you're not going to be able to keep up with us. We're going to put you in a foot race with De'Aaron Fox. Good luck. Well, this is how high Coloco can show. This is rare to show that high. Usually you want to back off because you're afraid of that speed. But Coloco's got his arm out. He's got the within arm's length, which is a very long arm, by the way, of Holmes. And then is able to slide his feet and then recover back and beat Holmes to the spot. And blows up the play. So that's a great pick and roll to be able to blow up. So this allows him to show at the level of the screen and then backpedal to be able to break up a lob. And so the Lakers don't have anybody other than AD who can really show at the level of the screen and then backpedal. And he's pretty active with his hands and arms. He usually has them out. Here he gets a the pocket pass, deflects that, picks it off. So he actually uses his length. Let's see what we have on this one. Yeah, recovers back. Then there are sometimes you need to be able to backpedal just to be able to keep up with a speedy guard. Here we have the speediest of them all, really, in Ja. And as you watch this, focus on Coloco's feet. Shifting quick, choppy steps. Hops on one foot twice to recover and turn his hips. And is able to beat that guard. And so he's really good against over-penetration. He'll be able to envelop smaller guards. Here he's got... Boncaro going right at his chest and those bigger guys can go through him um, but you can see that his length is still very disruptive this all gives him great recovery speed on this play he gets beat on the ball screen but Sharich on the roll this should be if he was more athletic this would be a dunk but Coloco is totally out of position but he can recover very easily and that extends beyond ball screens so just general thoughts on Coloco, you know, he first has to get into game shape and just playing basketball again in the first place. This isn't something that I think he's going to have a rotation spot anytime soon. He's on a two-way contract, but he is the best defensive pick-and-roll player the Lakers have had at the five spot other than AD in several years, really. And so is really excited to have him in the Lakers organization. If you like the work I do, you can support me on Patreon or buy me a coffee, and I'll catch you guys next time.